What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. We've got a lot going on in today's video. I've got some LSJ samples to pick up. We're hopefully going on a night out tonight if people don't bail. Uh, we've also unfortunately got a little bit of work to do, but it is a beautiful day outside, so we're gonna enjoy the day nevertheless. Let's get into today's video. So to me, it kind of feels like ages since I've done a proper vlog, purely because, well, it's not. It's only been like three, four days, something like that. But to be honest with you guys, I got so used to doing videos every single day, filming every single day and editing every single day in and around the time of body power that now when I'm going three, four days in between doing videos, like, it feels like too long. It feels like I'm not doing enough. It's really weird. But, I mean, it's it's good because it means that I don't mind the amount of workload that I have and it's good because of the amount of workload I have at uni at the minute. But it just feels weird. Like, I, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Guys, so back from a quick trip to town, I literally went to the supplier and then came back again. If you're wondering why I'm stood in the hall, it's because the rest of the house is a shithole. Uh, we've got exams and just, and just it's a student house, it's not that tidy. So I've got a quick uh, little thing that I've been very, very excited to show you. A new, brand new addition to the LSJ family. And that is the hoodies. So guys, here is the black one. I also have it in charcoal, which has black emblem writing on it. But this one has the nice white embroidered logo on there, which is a little bit more expensive, but in my eyes makes it a little bit of a nicer product. So I realized that it is the height of summer and so uh, here in the UK, and so I'm not gonna be bringing these out at the minute, but to be honest, what I've learned from doing the LSJ stuff over the last few months is that you have to be very, very organized and plan a good few months in advance and so these will be coming out later this year but I was just so excited that I had to show you guys right now so uh, without further ado here is the second colour this is the nice charcoal so as you guys can see there is a nice black logo on here when, uh, and the ties are kind of like drawn to it in a knot there very nice and stylish and so uh, this is probably my favourite of the two just because it's something a little bit different you don't see many uh, hoodies this colour and I really like, I mean obviously, I really like the emblem on the left side of the chest there. These, the thing I like the most about the hoodies is that they're nice and thick and warm, but at the same time they're not too thick and warm, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So they've got really nice fit to them. Here's how it looks from the front, from the side and the back. Obviously you sort the hood out a little bit there, but um, yeah, matching logos and uh, the emblem is going to be all over everything. There's a lot of things that I want to bring out and so if you have any recommendations, anything that you guys would like to see, then let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to get on that guys. So that's just a little announcement, I expect these to come uh, over the next few months, we'll see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see what Alright guys, so it is now a, another beautiful sunny day in Nottingham. I've had lots of good weather to show you guys recently, it's been really good. So, hopefully you can hear me over the noisy traffic. I'm currently on my way back to Melton to get a haircut. I know what you guys are going to be thinking, yes, you're going back to Melton again, like why, 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 why? But, it is the final day of the summer shredding competition tomorrow, so I need to look as good as possible. So we're going to get a fresh haircut ready for that. Now, what I'm going to do is actually show you guys the perfect reason as to why you should never, ever, judge a book by its cover. And it's not for a reason that you would expect. See this place right behind me? It is, it actually looks absolutely terrible in the day. Looks like a ship hit, basically. But never judge a book by its cover because it's a nightclub and it's one of, if not the best night, where everyone just gets involved, dresses up, fancy dresses, where we went last night. Never judge a book by its cover because it might look shit on the outside, but it might be pretty damn fun on the inside. haircut before and after. So looking much better now, uh, hopefully that will just give me a little bit more of an edge in the competition. So uh, I need every little chance that I can get. So it's been a beautiful day outside, but unfortunately we spent the majority of it inside. I've now got to do some more uni work because I have an assessment due uh, 
uh, tomorrow of the day of filming this. So I'm going to get that finished and then I'll see you guys at the gym. How's it going guys? Hopefully you are enjoying the video so far. If you are, then let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel to see the rest of my second year at uni. Unfortunately, there's not long left, but I've got some amazing summer plans, uh, hopefully holidays, trip to cities, uh, I'm also getting PT qualified, so hopefully by the end of summer I'll be able to set up some sort of online coaching platform, and I know there's actually already a surprising amount of interest in that, so stay tuned for more information. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, so, what other updates do I have for you guys? Uh, yeah, the summer training competition. Um, that finishes, uh, well actually, by the time this video comes out it would have been finished. The 90 days is up and I'm very happy to say that I lost £15, which is just over a pound a week, which is perfect in my eyes for, uh, in terms of retaining the amount of muscle that you work so hard to put on. So, I've become much more vascular, noticing the difference between uh, this time last year. Especially because I was, well, I was not in this condition this time last year. So, noticing the difference between uh, this time last year and hopefully realising a lot more of my weaknesses. They've definitely become a lot more apparent and I will definitely be working on them. So, find, also finding that balance between the gym and alcohol and uni work. It's been, it's been the toughest challenge yet in terms of this whole kind of bodybuilding process. And to be honest guys, I've absolutely loved it. Having said that though, throughout this workout I felt like crap. I was flat, the pump wasn't really there like it normally was, I was holding on to a lot of water weight, but that is all just part of the process. So instead of letting it get me down and seeing it as lost progress, lost you know, gain, weight gain or anything like that, I looked at it as from a positive mindset and thought rationally about it, right, okay, what can I do here? I did, I, I did some thinking throughout the session, I spoke to my friend Jake who, uh, who actually recorded this, so thanks as always uh, for that mate. Um, and, it came, and I came to the conclusion, we came to the conclusion, that I should say, that um, a sweaty ass cardio session was in the need, was in need and I would hopefully sweat out some of the water weight. As well as that, we decided to do a little bit more of a push session rather than your typical upper body with chest emphasis. Just mixing it up a bit and trying to get, uh, trying to kind of shock the muscles and get a reaction out of the body. So, um, a different workout accompanied with the sweaty, and I mean sweaty cardio session. 650 calories in total it was. 250 on the Stairmaster, which gives you worse pain than leg day, by the way, if you've ever done it before. And 400 on the treadmill as well, so 650 in total. Those two combined with the workout seems to have worked. It's now the next day and I woke up much less bloated and a bit more vascular again. So tomorrow, the time of filming this, when uh, the summer training deadline is, I'll be filming a posing routine, sending that off to Christian, finding out, uh, following an another session tonight. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But... It's not actually the end of the cut for me, guys. I'm, I'm going to keep going with the cut a little more casually than I than I have been. So the kind of thing I'm on about would be drinking Budweiser instead of Bud Light. So, like, we're talking that kind of casual. But I'll be doing it to the end of the summer just to get holiday ready for one and to bring out a little more definition for two. Uh, I'll then go on a lean bulk after that. So in other words, I'll, be, I'll know where to focus my workouts uh, and bring up my weak points. Um, so yeah, so that should be really interesting. I'm round about just below 15% body fat right now uh, And so I want to get down to I would say around 12% and that would just be the perfect amount the perfect amount of body fat I reckon uh, for me personally that would be a good starting point for a lean bulk in the third year of uni So that would be around sort of September November time at uh, September October. Sorry, so um, yeah, we'll just see how that goes guys. I'll keep you guys updated uh, in future videos So that is the workout done and the commentary for today uh, complete as well guys Hopefully you guys managed to catch uh, what the workout was in the background But remember if you didn't I'll actually be PT qualified pretty damn soon anyway So no worries on that one guys. So that's going to conclude today's video guys Thanks so much for watching. I'm preparing for another session tonight as we speak a sweaty cardio session at the end is much needed So here we go guys one final push no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video. Done.